this is a massive story. We talk a lot in this country about the impact of uh, of athletes taking stands on social issues. And the NBA, in particular, through players and coaches, and we got LeBron James, Greg Popovich, Steve Kerr, they're always speaking out, always taking shots at Donald Trump, always taking uh, really aggressive political stances. What have we heard from those guys and anybody else in the NBA since this major story exploded over the weekend coming out of a tweet from Houston Rockets GM Daryl Morey, who had the gall to tweet as follows, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. If you're not familiar with what's going on right now in Hong Kong, Hong Kong is a semi-autonomous part of China where uh, they have long embraced democracy, and China has taken back control in many respects of life in Hong Kong. And so there have turned uh, recently massive protests from people who live there in favor of democracy. China is a communist dictatorship, and they have been trying to stifle all protest in Hong Kong in favor of democracy, just like the Chinese government has stifled other protests in favor of democracy, most notably back in 1989 in Tiananmen Square, when they stifled all attempts to create a democratic China, a free people in China. There are over a billion people oppressed in China by the government that runs China. The NBA is full of crap in every respect about the way they've responded to this issue. China was upset about Daryl Morey's tweets, the Houston Rockets GM, And the NBA and Adam Silver and everybody else walked right up and bent the knee to China and apologized to a communist dictatorship because one of our American citizens had the gall to say that he supports democracy in this world. I want you to think about this for a minute. China pulled the, uh, sorry, the NBA pulled its all-star game out of Charlotte, North Carolina because of a transgender bathroom bill. That was made. You could go read all about this on my Twitter feed if you want to read more details about that NBA decision. But on this very radio program, I come came on right after that happened, and I said this was a made up controversy, and the NBA was full of it for their response in pulling that game out of the state of North Carolina and out of Charlotte. There was nobody that was actually being inconvenienced in any way by a North Carolina transgender bathroom bill in the city of Charlotte. This was a total politician-created, divisive issue that didn't actually impact anybody. The NBA pulled their all-star game out of North Carolina over this issue. The NBA recently, to Adam Silver, did away with the word owner because he considered it to be racially insensitive, and they replaced it with the word governor, which is one of the stupidest things I've ever seen any organization ever do. If you are going to be uber woke, super woke, super left wing, I'm offended by everything, including words which aren't actually offensive in the way that you respond to issues in America. And then you are going to kowtow to dictators when one of your top executives comes out in favor of democracy. I'm sorry, the NBA deserves to be ripped to the high heavens for their hypocrisy here. When China spends big money with you, you don't care about basic human rights. But you want to try to pretend like you do in the United States of America where we have absolute and total and complete freedom and most people in this country take it for damn granted every single day. I am calling out right now Greg Popovich, Steve Kerr, LeBron James, all of you quote-unquote woke activists who are ready every time Donald Trump sends a tweet you disagree with to sell him, like to go after him like it is absolutely your job. How many times have you heard Greg Popovich go after Donald Trump for some tweet he doesn't like? How many times have you heard Steve Kerr do the same thing? How many times have you heard LeBron James do that? Have you heard one word from these guys supporting Daryl Morey or the people who are fighting for democracy in China? No, you have not. 
And do you know why? Because the NBA and all the media that protect it in this woke universe of BS that we live in right now in American society shuts their damn mouths. The minute, the minute that the China complained about what an executive sent, and what did he say that was wrong? We're pro-democracy? China walked right up to Adam Silver and smacked him in the mouth, and Adam Silver said, thank you, can I have another? He went full-on bitch mode when China stepped up to him. And you know who else did? LeBron James, Greg Popovich, and, and, and Steve Kerr. All these guys who want to be woke activists. LeBron James said, no, I'm not going to just shut up and dribble. Well, you know what you do, LeBron James? When China steps to you, you shut up and dribble. When money actually is at stake, when all these NBA activists actually face real potential consequences to their wallet, when they are faced with real human rights abuses, when they are faced with actual wrongdoing that impacts over a billion people, they don't say a damn word. But oh, when there's a transgender bathroom bill in North Carolina, oh, we're pulling our all-star game. But you know what the NBA is doing this week with their woke media partner ESPN? They're broadcasting from China, a communist dictatorship. You won't play your all-star game in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is one of the freest places in the history of the world, in the history of world civilization. There have very rarely been places with as much freedom as as Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, but we won't play our all-star game there. But you will go to China and you will bend the knee and you will get pimp slapped by the Chinese dictators and you will take it and you will ask for another. I'm sorry, this is absolute rank hypocrisy on the part of the NBA and this ain't partisan politics. Give him credit. Julian Castro came out and ripped the NBA to the high heavens over this. He's running for president as a Democrat. Ted Cruz is a Republican senator in the state of Texas, said he's a lifelong Houston Texans fan, Houston uh, Rockets fan. He came out and he ripped the Rockets and the NBA to the high heavens. Do you know why? Because some things really are more important than just what you do for a living. And I'm not saying that Daryl Morey was a genius for tweeting this thing out. He's the Houston Rockets GM. I think he's tweeted this out without really thinking what the overall impact was going to be. But we ain't talking about a controversial opinion here. We're not talking about an issue that divides America 50-50. We're talking about supporting democracy, the very foundation upon which our country was created. If the NBA won't support a GM who tweets support of controversy, because they're afraid of upsetting communist dictators in China because of the money that they make. The NBA has no moral standing to say anything whatsoever in America, and nor do the players and coaches and activists who want to be so woke in the NBA. I want you to notice this. I want you to think about it in a big way. It's easy to rip Donald Trump in America today. It's easy to be a woke activist in America today because everybody on social media gets on their little platforms and they say, oh, it's so brave of you. Oh, it's so brave. Oh, it's so brave of you, NBA, to take your game out of North Carolina. Do you know there hasn't been a single transgender person who has ever been inconvenienced in North Carolina in 50 damn years going to the bathroom? There's nobody doing a genital check outside of North Carolina bathrooms. That was a made-up controversy. So Republicans and Democrats could sit around and argue over stupidity. And the NBA, behind Adam Silver, woke executive extraordinary, oh, the the word owner is offensive. It's it's racially insensitive to use the word owner. Bitch, please. I own my home. That ain't racially insensitive. I own my pet. That ain't racially insensitive. Nobody's actually offended by the word owner, but the NBA removed it. Yet when their executive tweets support for democracy, 
the league runs and hides. Adam Silver gets punked. LeBron James gets punked. Greg Popovich gets punked. Steve Kerr gets punked. All these dudes who yap all the time, all day long in America where they've got First Amendment rights and they can say any damn thing they want where they don't have any actual consequences where we say, oh, it's so brave of them to share their opinions when there's actually an opinion that matters. When a billion plus people are enslaved by a communist dictatorship in China and people are brave enough to stand up against them in Hong Kong, do you know what all the woke activists in the NBA say? Nothing. Even worse than nothing, they apologize for believing in American democracy. I am sorry, but I am so fired up about this. And the other thing that you should be paying attention to is how many people in American sports media are not even going to hold the NBA accountable here. The same damn people who've been singing the praises of Greg Popovich and Steve Kerr and LeBron James and Adam Silver for being woke losers, for changing the word owner, for doing things that don't have any substantive impact in this country at all, except for genuflecting at the altar of the 10% of losers who are perpetually outraged in this country over BS. They won't do a damn thing when a billion people are actually being impacted by something severe. In fact, ESPN is going to be broadcasting live from China this week. They ain't going to say a word. They're going to kiss the ring of one communist dictator after another all over China. Daryl Morey, how dare he? How dare the Houston Rockets GM be in favor of democracy? So ridiculous. The NBA won't even support one of their top executives coming out in favor of of democracy you know why because so much of this woke bs is exactly what i'm telling you it has been for years oh remove the word owner oh about this transgender bathroom bill things that don't actually impact anybody oh the woke activists in sports oh they're really big talkers but when it actually comes to really having a platform and really making a difference for a billion plus chinese people who would like to be able to have the same freedoms that we have every single day, if you pay the NBA enough money, they will shut the F up. They don't even talk back at all. Adam Silver just got pimp slapped, and he liked it. 